What is up, guys? We just rained here a little bit ago. So I'm ready to do some bass fishing. Got some top water setups that I'm going to stick to. Got the new Lunker Hunt Dragonfly here. And uh, this frog here is by that Junky Baits, I believe. So these are the two approaches I'm going to try out. Slow, you pop it like a popper, and uh, fast. So guys, hopefully we can catch some nice uh, chunks here. If not, who knows? All right, let's get on it. Look at all this hydrilla. Well, on my other rod, I got 10 pound mono, so I don't know about running it through this. I could lose my dragonfly. All right, let's slow it down, see if that might change the game up here. This Lunker Hunt Dragonfly is really weird to use. It's so lightweight. I think like a quarter ounce. had my first bass off of this thing. Let's try that again. There we go. Yes. That's what I am talking about. Nice. Look at that. Easy there, guy. So cool. First bass off of the Lunker Hunt Dragonfly. Little guy, too. All right, thank you. My first little dragonfly bass. I guess it was only that bass in the area chasing whatever he was chasing. I saw him jumping around chasing a fish. I came in, threw that dragonfly in, and bam. I like that little guy. Not really getting much action today. thought the bite be better but again this place gets fished heavily even by me all right let's switch it to the color blue see if that might get any better action Dang, dude, I messed that up. That's a little guy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Wow. This is my second bass <laughs> off of one of these. Look at that. 
can't believe this little guy got this big of a dragonfly. Hungry little booger. You see that? I think it was a tilapia. So if a bass seen that, he would have went after it. But then again, it could have been a bass and I spooked it. Well, there's big bass flowing through here. Back in May, I caught a uh, six and a quarter pounder right there. Caught a three, three and a half pounder right along this bank and a couple of one plus pounders. place holds some big bass. Oh, looks like someone wants to go fishing here. I see, I see. Well, that was only, was only here for maybe 15 minutes. He didn't even do anything. He's just cast in the same spot the whole time. Here we go. Alright, third bass off of Dragonfly, guys. Y'all guys can see that. All right, a little bass, all little dinks. Well, guys, I had some fun fishing these finesse topwater baits by Lung for Hunt. These dragonflies are pretty cool. Very durable. They kind of remind me of the Z-Man soft plastics, so you know they won't break down and will last you quite a while. Uh, the only thing that would wear out is the paint up on top from going through cover and bass biting it with their teeth. But it really doesn't matter because this is what they'll be looking at right here. I picked both of these up for $4.99 at Tackle Warehouse. I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested and want to pick up a couple. They have different colors. I'm thinking about getting two more colors, maybe the chartreuse and the red. Not sure yet. Uh, one thing I know, notice is that the 4 rot finesse hook that came with this is a little big for the bait, but it worked out fine. And you can see it didn't fit in the uh, hook slot here, and you can see the little hole on both of them where I put the uh, hook point through to get a nice clean flush uh, set right there. But overall, fun little finesse bait. I did wish uh, that I could have caught bigger bass, but I will take what I can. And I'm happy that uh, I landed three bass off of these. But yeah, again, it, it is a nice little fun bait to use. I would suggest using it primarily and strictly with a spinning setup. I tried it once with a bait caster and I didn't hardly get any distance with it. I mean, it only weighs a quarter ounce, and you don't want a heavy gauge hook or it will sink. But overall, it's a nice innovative bait. I like it. So guys, please do give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any cool action, unboxings, and whatever, whatever else I throw up on the YouTube. And uh, until next time, when I get out on the water tight lines and keep fishing. Peace.